and welcome to another edition of Carbs here on Reckless Eating, the only show where I sit in a car and BS while consuming carbs. Mad Zion here. Before I readjust the camera, I did want to show off my LAB shirt. So uh, he's awesome. He's a good man, and we've hung out with him a few times, and we enjoy his company. Let's go back to the regular camera. There we go. So, of course, I picked this awesome spot for it's like in like a park area kind of by a walmart by my house and there's one perfect shady tree that's covering it i'm like oh this is great roll down the windows do two reviews no sounds it's perfect all of a sudden no more than a block away loud construction begins what the f is my luck here i swear doing fine i heard a, a lawnmower going off maybe like a mile away so you'll never hear that i will you won't but then all of a sudden, like, I hear, like, it's like Batista's entrance out here. God damn it. I swear to God, I can never find a fucking peaceful spot for new carbs. For new. I'm so upset I can't speak. So, we got another chorizo item. This is the chorizo breakfast burrito. Oh, from Carl's Jr., by the way. So, this is what it looks like. It's already starting to fall apart a little bit, but there we go. It's got uh, hash browns in it, all kinds of stuff that I would hate. Egg, onions, tomatoes, meats and cheese. Yeah, I could have done without the onions. I could have done tomatoes, which is fine, but yeah. All right, well, now that there's a Mexican family coming out of their backyard walking across me awkwardly, let's go ahead and eat this thing while they watch and wonder what the fuck I'm doing. Here we go, let's go, the chorizo breakfast burrito. I hate this, this is like such a good spot and it's been ruined immediately. And now there's a squirrel to my left as well. Here we go. Oh, I hate the onion crunch. I would have asked him to take it out if I knew it was in there. Everything else about it's not too bad. I don't think this works as well as the uh, biscuit version. Biscuit versions seem to have had a little bit more going on for it. There's not a lot of flavor in this. To me, I'm, I'm tasting more heat than anything else. It's a good hash brown, though. One more big bite with annoying, disgusting onion crunch. Let's do it. I don't think this works nearly as well. Now, this is not my, my bag. I think it's because I hold breakfast burritos in a much higher standard than I do like biscuit stuff. Plus, I think the extra breading of the biscuit helps mask a lot of the heat. This is, this, to me, this just tastes like pure heat. I'm not getting much flavor because I just have so much heat coming into it. And it's not like super hot or anything. It's probably about the same heat level as the previous one. It's just the breading on the biscuit helped cover that up a little bit so I could taste more of the egg the cheese and everything else that's in there. So yeah, I don't, I don't like this one very much. I would definitely get it without the onions next time, but thankfully that wasn't too bad. I mean, there's only a few onions in there. It's not like riddled with them. Riddle me this, riddle me that. I thought Jim Carrey was a good Riddler, by the way. He was actually really good. He was just Jim Carrey, but you know, naturally he works as a Riddler. I would rate this one a low three. I'm not feeling this one at all. Definitely go with the biscuit. If you're gonna get one of the two, get the biscuit. I feel it holds up a lot better. If you're gonna get a breakfast burrito, go somewhere else. I wouldn't I wouldn't go to Carl's Jr. for a breakfast burrito. So many awesome places you can get a breakfast burrito from. I always find that going to the fast food chains for a breakfast burrito is such a waste of time because it's so much better to just go to like a mom and pop shop or or a local place and get just amazing breakfast burrito for super cheap. But there you go, guys. What are your thoughts on the chorizo breakfast burrito brand new at Carl's Jr.? One more Carl's Jr. item to come on carbs. I guess we'll see you then.